welcome back to another video today's video is going to be a little bit different i'm gonna do a monday reset so a monday home reset i have learned resetting for me on the weekends is just not it because saturdays brian's either working or you know like we're having a family day sundays we go to church we go to lunch and then we come home and i just rest so the weekends are truly like my days off, Brian stays off, the kid stays off. Like they'll wake up and do like throw the trash and do the dishwasher and things like that. But none of us are really actually like maintaining a clean home. So today is going to be like my Monday reset. Now I can't do too much. <clears throat> What's on my agenda for today is to get the fridge cleaned out, get the bathrooms cleaned, maybe vacuum the living room. Maybe, I don't know yet. I may just turn on the d -bot, I think. But for sure, my two main things are bathrooms. So two bathrooms and um, get the fridge cleaned out. I was debating on where <clears throat> I was debating on where I was going to start first, but I'm definitely going to start with getting the fridge cleaned out because for one, it is a grocery shopping week and two, the boys are about to get up and I want to have everything that needs to go in the trash in the trash before they take the trash to the dumpster. I've actually been up since eight o'clock, like eight o'clock on the dot. I just woke up. There's a lot of movement like down my street. That's one reason Brian and I want to move is like, we feel like since we moved into this house, like the traffic and all of that, like has just gotten insane. Like there's so much just traffic through. And, I, and when I say traffic, I don't mean like cars backed up. I just mean, there's a lot of movement. So yeah, I'm gonna, Start in the bedroom and the living room, just just kind of like taking drinks that and snacks that pile up over the weekend and end up on my dresser and the little side table in the living room. We're gonna go ahead and get that cleaned off. My bed has already been made for the day. I'm dressed. I'm not doing makeup today. Just gonna let my skin breathe because we got some little breakouts going on. Um, I did wash my hair last night, but we're not doing anything with her today either. We, we put on a head wrap putting on the head wrap so let's go ahead and just get into it and i hope that you guys enjoy this i'm about to turn on some music and i can hear the boys getting up now they're trying not to get up because they don't want to do their chores but we gotta go oh and today is our week off of school <clears throat> i did just place a walmart order so maybe i should actually grab that first and put take it to the kitchen all right you guys so starting with bringing in the stuff that i ordered I just needed to place a Walmart order because this day was laundry day for myself and my husband, Brian. And because I knew it was laundry day, I knew that there was a few things that I needed to restock in order for me to be able to do laundry. So I just brought that in, set it in the kitchen because we'll get to that room later. And I went ahead and started in the living room. I try to make it a habit of changing the date. My husband and I both have really bad habits of kind of just going to bed and leaving little things that need to be cleaned up and picked up the next day in the living room it's something that we both need a break because it could definitely save me literally five to ten minutes maybe 15 every single morning if I didn't have to go into the living room and pick up our mess from the night before All right, you guys, this part right here is definitely a me problem. I am very much an out of sight, out of mind type of person. So when it comes to my Bible study things, which is what I'm working with right now, I tend to forget to do my Bible study. So I had gotten into the habit of leaving everything that I needed to study the Bible for the day out. And so now what I've started doing is putting everything away every night, but bringing out my entire Bible box every morning and putting the entire Bible box up every night. So for me, a part of tidying up the living room is always tidying up that entryway. I did put this rack here as a catch-all, but sometimes it just catches too much. And I don't think it's that it catches too much. It's that my family tends to think it replaces our closet. And no. So for me personally, I keep shoes here that I wear often. So my favorite shoes are on this rack. My husband just keeps shoes here as a place to store his shoes, his jacket, everything. So this is an area of the house that I have to tidy up often. Same thing with this shelf. My husband will check the mail and just go 
it come in and just throw it there. Okay, so here is where my hidden mess always is. If people ever came over to my house and they were like, oh my gosh, you're so clean, how do you do it? I would be like, no, I'm not, come look at my dresser. This is where a lot of my mess is. I tend to open drinks and then not finish them or order drinks when we go out to eat and then not finish them and my dresser catches it all. And then on top of that being pregnant, it now catches snacks. But we're just gonna go ahead and tidy up my little corner of the room. Don't let this fool you though, Brian loves to pile clothes that he wore for the day up in his corner. So we're just gonna go ahead and tidy up these couple of areas and then go ahead and start getting our laundry ready to start for the day. All right, you guys, so heading into the kitchen, I did already put my laundry baskets in the laundry room, just waiting for me to go in there and restock all the laundry stuff. So right here, I'm just unbagging everything that I ordered, and then we are gonna go ahead and start a haul. So quick little Walmart haul. Today's laundry day for me, so I got some more OxyClean, some more Downy Rinse and Refresh. Um, the boys like to use 10,000 pumps of soap to wash their hands, even though it only takes one, so we needed hand soap. Got mouthwash and um, dusters and printer paper so I can start making their packets for the next few weeks since we don't have school this week. And an air filter for our bedroom because I changed the main air filter last week. Okay, so this is where I, one area where I see a lot of parents struggle and ask, oh my gosh, my kids don't clean up after themselves. Oh my gosh, my kids don't do this. I'm doing everything by myself. Include your kids. Give them responsibilities. Let them know this is an all hands on deck type of household. So if I can't have fun, you can't have fun. Now that's not saying we will never have fun, but in our household here where we live, you will earn everything that we give you sometimes there will be surprises sometimes we will do fun stuff just because but include your kids and give them responsibilities i don't know why parents fear giving their children responsibilities but that doesn't make sense to me now i'm not saying make your children slaves and use them as your slaves because i really dislike parents who do that as well those are your children you are to love them you are to train them up but it is still okay to give them responsibilities around the house to start teaching them the basic human responsibility of cleaning up after yourself. So now that that tangent is over, we're just going ahead getting the dishwasher filled up and then we're gonna start wiping down the cabinets and, or I always say cabinets, wiping down the countertops and then we're just gonna go ahead and clean the floors. Oh. Now I see this clip and I forgot the whole reason we really needed to start in the kitchen was because I needed to empty out this refrigerator. Every week I go in there and I throw out leftovers from the previous week. So if they are a week old, so like let's say from Sunday to Saturday, I check the refrigerator on Monday and if there are any leftovers still in there from last Sunday to last Friday, they getting thrown out because we didn't care about them all weekend. There, it's time for them to go.
So once all the leftovers are emptied out and thrown away, it is time to go ahead and start sticking those containers into the dishwasher. And we're gonna go ahead and get the dishwasher started for the day. We're gonna go ahead and clean out the sink. Let me know, after you do dishes, are you the type of person who washes your sink? I am. I don't know why everybody doesn't do that. And I don't know why it doesn't sit well with me if I don't do it. But yes, I love to literally wash my sink. <laughs> Okay, so now here we go. Once we are done with the sink and the dishes and the leftovers, now we clean off the countertops and just give everything a good wipe down and degrease the stove and all of that good stuff. So this is one of the areas of the home where my children are mostly responsible for cleaning up after themselves. So after every meal, they are to get cleaning wipes and clean off the tables. That's why you will not see me wiping down the table is because that is their responsibility, not mine. However, I will go in here and vacuum the floor from the crumbs that they drop and things like that. So when I say get your kids involved, I'm not telling you to have them do everything. I'm telling you to have them pitch in to lighten your load, but also within doing this, you are teaching them. You are teaching them for when they get their own place and whenever they grow up, everything is literally a teaching moment in this home. None of it is for my own personal game, but to train up my children to be ready to be men. And once we are done with that area, you, I will then go ahead and start vacuuming the harder floors, if that makes sense. So the, the floors that are not carpeted. So the way I clean is not for everybody. It is very unorganized and can seem all over the place. So now that I am actually done with the kitchen, now I am starting my laundry 
even though we put the laundry in here a long time ago to me it just made sense okay i'm about to go to the kitchen and since my laundry room is right off of the kitchen let me put my laundry baskets in there i did need to start this off with restocking the laundry things that i was out of and then we're going to go ahead and start our first load but yeah the way i clean is very much the way i think so if, if I will start in one area and then I could bunny trail off but then always get back onto the main trail, I try to clean room by room. I have noticed that that tends to help me get more done. So yeah, if I am in a room, I will work really hard at finishing that room before I move on to the next one. So that's why even, I don't know, it makes sense in my head, but let me know if you are kind of the same way with cleaning. I have trained myself to clean room by room. But to me, I'm like, some people may think that that doesn't make sense. Like, why did she start in the living room, but then go to her room, but then go to the kitchen, but then go back to the living room? In my mind, it made sense within the products that I was having to use and within the tools that I was having to use. So once I was done with laundry, I went back into the living room, started wiping everything down that needed to be dusted or just cleaned off. And then we are going to go ahead and vacuum the floors in here. So this part made sense because... I was just using the vacuum and I was like, you know what, let me do all the floors around at the same time. But before I leave the kitchen area, let me start the laundry. I don't know. Let me know if that's just too complicated for you. So once we are done with the outer areas of the house, then I move into the bathrooms. I always start the bathrooms with clearing off the cab with clearing off the countertops, goodness, with clearing off the countertops and then I'm going to start with the basics like cleaning the mirror, cleaning the sink, then wiping down the uh, countertops and then cleaning the toilet. I really only deep clean the showers and the bathtub about once a month just especially since I've been pregnant usually that is something that I would do every week when I clean the bathrooms but since I'm having to take it a little bit easier this pregnancy I have just only been doing that once a month so on this day I did not clean the showers because they had just been cleaned a couple of weeks prior to this
This is one thing that I like to do is wipe off the hand, the light switches and things like that, just because it's something that's constantly touched. I don't know if everybody that comes into this bathroom, if they're washing their hands or not. So that's something that I like to do. Also, do you clean the base of your toilet? Because if not, I don't know what to tell you, but if you don't start, you may not realize it, but that part of the toilet needs to be cleaned just as much as the inside and the parts that you see the most. <laughs> Once I'm done with my bathroom, I head straight into the boys' bathroom and we do the same things, only I usually have to clean their floors. I don't know how in the world they get so many crumbs and just trash on the floor. I guess it's just a part of being a kid. If you're wondering what I use in the toilets, I use this Clorox bleach cleaner and then I throw a little bit of soft scrub in there to help it get super white. And then, um, yeah, I just used the glass cleaner and then whatever little spray I'm making. I did have to refill the boys' soap. I have to refill their soap about once a week. <laughs> I think it's really irritating. Kids are expensive. But, um, yeah, and then we're just going to go ahead and do all the same things that we did in my bathroom. We're going to wipe down the countertops, the sink, the cabinets, and the toilet, and just go ahead and get this all freshened up for the week ahead. So in the boys bathroom not only will I clean the base of the toilet but I will clean the I will hand mop the floor around the base of the toilet I mean I got little boys they go in there they just spray that thing anywhere however they're feeling and you know like they they are responsible for cleaning their bathroom every single morning well wiping it down every single morning but they're kids they still don't do it perfectly so I just go in there and give a little bit of extra reinforcement and I can honestly say my boys bathroom hardly if ever smells like pee <laughs> Okay, so before I sat down to start the part of my work where it requ requires me to sit down, I did go ahead and change the air filter in our room. So this is an air intake vent. We have two of them, one in the master bedroom and one in the hallway. So I do change these once a month. If not, our allergies are insane and go crazy. So that is a must every single month. Once those are changed, I did go ahead and head to the kitchen this is not something that I do every week it just so happened to be this week because this week was also the end of the month and the start of a new month and every month I do the calendars so if you would like to see things that I do monthly to get the house ready please let me know I mean it's not much at all it's really probably just getting the boys schoolwork ready for the for the for the new month making sure that I have my read and write the word ready for the new month to go ahead and publish that on social media 
and a big part of it is these calendars so on these calendars on the white one that is where I write our bills and I write when when birthdays are due because to me I'm like I want to be able to gift something so it's kind of like how much am I going to be able to gift based on what bills are due and when we get paid on the more clear calendar I just started doing that one and that one is set it used to be our food menu but then I realized I didn't really stick to that that much but I was like you know what this will help when I'm on bed rest after I have EJ to go ahead and just let my husband know what days we have school what days we don't have school what days we go to the library what days soccer practice are on so that calendar is more so for everyday life events such as doctor's appointments soccer practice and things like that So another thing that I also do for every month is at, at that point, it was actually time for me to sit down and have lunch. So I went to the living room, put on a YouTube video because now I can kind of unwind because now the main thing that I have to do is get the boys curriculum ready for the next month. So every month we always have the last week off. That helps me prepare my mind for the next month ahead, get the house in order for things that may have slacked on that I may have slacked on for the last three weeks and so that's just what I'm doing right here is prepping the boys um, schoolwork getting their curriculum together I have found that for me personally and I do plan on making a homeschool update for me personally putting their packets together and finding work online that's free is what works best for me um, every to each their own but this is what works for me and my family This is probably the perfect example of you do not have to do everything all in one go within a certain amount of time. You guys, after I ate my lunch, I probably finished one kid's curriculum and then I passed out and needed a nap and so the laundry was waiting on me. I still needed to do the other kid's curriculum so I went ahead and went to the room, put on a youtube um podcast video and i started folding the laundry at the same time i'm continuing to finish the boys curriculum so yeah don't ever feel like it, you can't take a break or you have to get everything done right in that moment especially if you're a stay-at-home mom you have the whole day allow yourself some grace it is okay it will get done when it gets done <laughs> So 
so one thing my husband actually took over once we got my bonus in and he saw my plate was getting a little bit too full he was kind of like hey wash the clothes fold the clothes but i will put my own clothes up so he kind of took that off my plate and it does save me about a good 10 minutes so here i am only putting up my own clothes and then hubby will put up his clothes and what is so crazy is that at the same time that i was done putting up or folding and putting away my laundry i was actually done printing out the boys curriculum So yeah, once the boys curriculum is printed out, I do go through and I kind of like stagger it by subject and then we're going to go ahead and put the um, staple them together, put them in order, staple them together and the boys curriculum is now done for the month of March. And in the midst of doing all of this, what you cannot do is forget to take care of yourself. Go ahead and reset yourself for the week. We put in a lot of work today. So one way that I'm gonna do that is go ahead and create me a whole vibe and a whole Epsom salt bath with bubble bath. So I'm just using this pink Himalayan salt bubble or Epsom salt. And then I'm gonna go ahead and use the sleep one because I did take a nap this day. I needed a little assistant sleeping. And then we are gonna go ahead and turn on my little galaxy light and just have ourselves a little vibe with some bubbles in the bath. All right, you guys, and that is it for today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Remember, I love you guys, but Jesus loves you more, and I'll see you in the next video.